Okay, so crocheting. Something that when I was younger, I totally associated with grandmas and literally just grandmas. I always just thought once you become a grandma, you just automatically know how to crochet and you just all of a sudden have a whole ton of crocheted blankets and you just spawn one day and you're an old person who knows how to crochet. But no, that's obviously not how it happens. Ever since the resurgence of like crochet clothing being back in style, I feel like I've been manipulated by my Pinterest feed to learn how to crochet, but I knew how to knit so I thought let's try to crochet because I want to and I think it'll be fun and I need to do something to get off my phone because I spend way too much time on my phone lately. So this video is my journey of learning how to crochet. My first project is a tote bag so buckle up because this is gonna be a wild one ladies and gentlemen. Let's get into day one. Here we go. Okay day one. I'm talking quietly because my family's asleep and I don't want to be annoying but yeah. So this is my first attempt. I've got my crochet hook and my yarn and I've got a video right here and I'm just gonna time lapse this and I'll share my thoughts once I know what I'm doing. But yeah, I'll have all the videos that I use linked down below, but yeah. And thus began my crocheting journey. So as you can see, I just have a time lapse of me crocheting or at least trying to crochet because day one did not go very well for me, which you will see in some upcoming clips. I fucked up. Like, really bad. Starting over. But anyway, I just honestly didn't really understand the video I was watching, and it was my first day, so I thought I could have a little pass. So, yeah, I just kind of gave up after day one. Like, for day one, I just kind of gave up. So, yeah, here's the results. Okay, day two. I'm gonna try a different video today to see if that fixes anything. I'm not blaming the video that I tried because it's obviously just me. I have no skills whatsoever, but I'm hoping a different video will lead to a different result. So yeah, just thought I'd update you with that. I have no idea if it's gonna work or not, but fingers crossed. Okay, bye. <laughs> Okay, day two, I actually started to see some progress. I was really excited because I actually was able to almost finish a complete granny square. Um, at the time, I thought it was great and I was doing amazing, but now looking back on it, I made a lot of mistakes and you'll see why in like a minute or two, I made it too big and yeah i'll explain more later on i felt really successful because it didn't just feel like i was just twisting a hook in some yarn i actually kind of understood what was happening which is amazing it was very relieving so yeah okay it's the end of day two i'll add a clip of what i have so far i only have one more um round on this square but i'm just exhausted i have to wake up super early tomorrow for work so yeah i'm just gonna call it quits for here it's not the best work ever like obviously it's my first one ever i don't think i'm gonna include this one in the actual project but i think it's super good for my first try and i'm getting really familiar with the square that i'm doing so i think it's going well super proud of myself um compared to yesterday i've made a lot of progress um, um, I am now realizing how long this project is actually going to take, but that's okay. Yeah, so end of day two, I guess. Bye. Oh. Okay, wow. Excuse what I look like, please. But I just finished my first granny square. Um, oh my god, I can't get over how I look. I'm sorry. I'm on my period and I haven't le left bed all day, but I'm really excited because I finished my first square. Um, I somehow messed up on the last round. As you can see, it's like higher here, but it's super cute. I'm not gonna use this one in my project, I don't think. This can be like a little coaster or something because it's still cute, but I don't think I'm gonna use it in my project. These are bigger granny squares than I thought they'd be, but now I'm gonna map out my tote bag and see how many I'm gonna need to actually crochet a tote bag. So yeah, I just thought I would show you guys because I'm super excited. I can't believe I was able to do this. I literally, the first day, I thought I wouldn't be able to crochet at all. Like I gave up, like you guys saw the day one results. I thought I'd never be able to get this far, but I did and I'm super proud of myself. So, and yeah, I haven't sewed in the end yet, but that's okay. Okay. Okay, at this point I decided to make a tote bag with four granny squares on the front and four granny squares on the back. As you can see, the first granny square I made was quite big, but I realized my mistake when I made my second granny square and realized just how different the size was. So I decided to scrap that plan and decided that I was going to use six on the front and six on the back, which worked out better because I liked the shape of that better anyway. So, so yeah, that was my thought process. Okay, so I have 
all six of each color squares done for the tote bag, if that makes sense. So I have six light blue, six dark blue, and six cream. So now in order to make the tote bag, I need to join the squares together and make the straps. So I'm going to watch some videos and figure out how to join them together. I know this isn't like a very tutorial-esque video, but that's what I'm doing now. Um, thoughts on the granny squares? Super easy once you get used to it. I'm going to have the video linked below for these ones that I did. They're super cute. They're just like basic ones, but they're really easy to do once you get used to it. And I didn't even need to watch the video after my first few. I just memorized on how to do it and it's super easy and yeah i think i mentioned before i made them smaller than the first one i did i thought the first one like you're only supposed to do four rounds but i think the first one i actually made way too big and i was like that's too big as shown on my tote bag there would only be four so i was like i don't like that so this size is much better because then i'll have six on the front and six on the back which i think will look really nice also excuse my hair I just did it, so you'll see more of that in the next video, hint hint. But anyway, I'm joining them all together with cream, and the straps are gonna be cream as well because I think that'll look nice. Um, yeah, I'm gonna figure out how to join these squares together and then I'll update you later. So, as I said, I spent the next while trying to join the squares together, but I just found I couldn't figure it out really, and I didn't want to do it, so I was like, okay, let's make the straps. I tried making the straps, and honestly i couldn't get those either so i was feeling really defeated and frustrated because i couldn't join all the squares together and i couldn't make the straps and i was like well now i'm just stuck with all these granny squares what do i do but yeah um here's me telling you in person how i was feeling so back to past christine i guess if that makes me future i don't know whatever i just spent an hour trying to make this strap and it looks awful as you can see, it's curved at the bottom, and I'm kind of losing my mind because I wanted it to be easier than it is. So I'm going to take a break, try to get my mind together, and I don't know. I guess I'll see you later. I'm sorry. <sighs> Crocheting is really hard. It's fun when you know what you're doing, but the rest of it is just hurts your brain, and it's really exhausting. So I know I'm talking about crocheting and I'm acting like it's like super difficult, but it is apparently so, especially when you spend an hour and I have to take all this apart, so. Okay, I feel like the camera angle is crooked, but oh, it definitely is. It, mm, I can't tell. I don't know why I can never tell. I probably just made it crooked, but that's okay. I'm eating a salad. I'm not gonna show it because it looks kind of gross, but it's really good. I'm just taking a break. Um, I've been sewing together this back part or the front i haven't really decided yet of the tote bag i've done the two vertical lines i just have to connect all i guess they look horizontal now but i have to do the other parts it's just really time consuming um sorry i moved but it's just kind of time consuming and i just wanted to like update because i don't think i've really talked a lot in the video i'm still not really sure if i'm doing like a voiceover or what i'm doing but yeah i haven't really gave you guys my thoughts yet but Crocheting is definitely more difficult than I thought it would be. Um, I don't know, doing the squares was okay. Once you got used to it, it was great. It was fun. It was easy. But then when you try to join them together, it's like something new. It's pretty easy as well. The straps, as you know, I messed up yesterday and I literally couldn't get the straps together. Um, so I just gave up on them. So once I get this together, I'm gonna have to figure out how to make the straps. But that's later Christine's problem. So I'm not gonna think about it now. But yeah, I'm eating a salad. I hate the sound of people Showing, so I'm not gonna expose you guys to that. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to update you guys. It's coming along and I'm super excited for it to end. Um, which is kind of weird to say, like I'm not- I'm just excited to be done, you know? I'm just really excited to have the tote bag and all that stuff, so I think that's why I'm mostly excited for it to be done. It's not like te- like it is tedious. I don't know what I'm getting at. But anyway, yeah, that's my update for now. I'll probably see you guys when I've got it all together and I figure out how to make the straps, so. Hope you enjoyed. Okay, I just finished um, sewing together or crocheting together the one side of my tote bag. I haven't sewn in the end yet, so don't judge that. But um, yeah, it took a while, but look how good that looks. I'm pretty proud, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Now to do the other side, and then I'm still trying to decide how I'm gonna do the top seam, like, and then do the straps, but all in due time. Is that a proper saying? I don't know, but yeah, I'm gonna do the other side and then join them together, and then I guess I'll catch up with you guys. I'm not gonna like time lapse that because I feel like I have enough time lapses in this video already, and it's just getting to be too much, but just a little update. Okay, bye. 
technically it's day six because it's 2 a.m but i finished the bag mainly like the bag part um i still need to sew in the ends i'm kind of scared to do that because i feel like i should have done that before i put it all together but it's all together and i added a couple rows of crochet on top it looks better on the inside i'm a little disappointed about that but it looks fine on the outside too and then i finished one strap i made them a little bit thinner because i like the look of thinner and so i'm trying to find somewhere to put you i like the look of thinner straps because i just think it looks nice it might rip if i ever try to have anything in my tote bag but that's okay um what can you do i don't know but yeah look how cute that is it's been taking me forever so i'm gonna do the other strap tomorrow but yeah tote bag done almost like so close i'm so excited and look who's here but yeah, I'm gonna figure this out, and tomorrow I guess will be the grand reveal, so I'm super excited for that. And if you're still watching at this point, thank you so much. I hope it's been interesting, so I'll see you tomorrow. Or today, I guess, but later. But bye. Guess what? It's done! Um, I was gonna make myself look all nice for the finale of this video, but then I was like, why? like it's this is what i look like get used to it i don't know not in like a mean way but like like there's no point in putting makeup on for the end of a crochet video like i'm just showing you my tote bag and telling you my experience i don't think you really care if i look like instagram me i don't know i don't care anyway it's done i'm so excited it took a lot longer than i thought it would um i wanted to originally get this done in like four days and edit and have the video upload uploaded by then but that didn't happen as we all know because the video was late but that's okay because i'm really excited and i like the way it turned out um a couple things though the straps i made a little bit thin which for a tote bag obviously you want like durable straps because you're gonna be putting a lot of stuff in your tote bag and you're gonna want to carry stuff around but i got a little lazy and didn't make them very thick and they're not attached very well so i'm probably gonna end up trying to redo the straps or figuring something out uh, I'm not really sure. I didn't really watch tutorials for the straps. I just kind of wung it, wing it, winged it. I just realized I have bruises. But yeah, I just kind of figured out the straps on my own. I didn't really watch a video. So yeah, that's my own doing. And then the second thing is I haven't put a liner inside yet. So you can see through the holes. And obviously if I had like a lip liner in the bottom or anything, it would fall through. But that's okay for now. I'm really proud of what I did for my first project. I love it it's super soft i love blue it was like my favorite color as a kid i had a light blue room and everything it's not really my favorite color anymore but i still love blue so i just think these colors look really nice together and i like it and i'm really proud of myself for sticking with this and doing this i guess that leads into how crocheting made me feel and all that stuff so originally i wanted to start crocheting because i wanted a hobby other than reading or going on my phone because that's all i really do and i realized lately like i'm not gonna get into it too much but my mental health hasn't been all that great and <laughs> i've been using reading and going on my phone as a really big form of escapism like it's gotten to the point where i just couldn't not be on my phone or reading and like i was reading a book and i laughed at something that happened in the book which really weird i don't usually laugh at things that happen in books but i get like so into them now and i laughed and like looked around in my room and I got so sad because I realized I wasn't actually in the book. Like I wasn't living that moment. I was just laying in my bed rotting away for another day. So yeah, I decided maybe I should change something. Just like maybe, you know? So yeah, that's really deep. But honestly, yeah, crocheting did keep my mind off of it. I did watch a lot of movies while crocheting because it's kind of like mind numbing work. Does that make sense? You just like, you don't really need to think about it once you get really into it. So I just watched movies and listened to music while doing it. But yeah, I kind of wanted to get away from that. But I think it was okay because I was really focused on crocheting and I just watched like movies I'd seen before. So. so my overall thoughts of crocheting is it's time consuming but it's worth it and yeah i really liked it my brother wants me to make him like a stuffy of some sort so i'm gonna do that next <laughs> and then my sister wants me to make her a blanket so i'll do that afterwards but yeah i'm excited and i'm proud of myself and i'm excited to do other kinds of projects and all that stuff so i hope you enjoyed this video i know it wasn't a tutorial it was more of just like my experience with crocheting which i don't really know if that's interesting i feel like i say that every video i'm like i don't know if this was interesting but like i made it and i had fun making it and i've had a lot of fun editing this video and and adding like things like more stuff into it so like i don't know if you found it interesting but i did and it's my channel so that's the whole point of having a channel is i do what i want so 
but I hope you liked it. And if you did, let me know by liking or commenting. I never ask you guys to do that, but it really helps me out because the more comments and stuff I get, the more of a chance YouTube will recommend my video and I hope they do. But yeah, thank you so, so, so much for watching. And I've got another video already almost fully filmed. So expect that on Thursday. I'll see you soon.